What is this abomination? <laughs> it's the glory holes. Did it work? A few of you noticed this in the, uh, in the wind tunnel test with your keen eye. And I have been meaning to do a video forever, but things get in the way. See, it's got holes, 500 of them to be precise, all the way around the wheel. I'll cut to the chase, it didn't work, okay? But I'll explain where it didn't work and when it did work. So this wheel is a 60 mil wheel like we did in the wind tunnel test with a hidden nipple and 500 holes through the wheel. The idea was to try and create a yaw angle effect of high flow air on the windward side. So this is the wind coming from here, it's easy for you to see. High flowing air on the windward side, uh, creating, it's, it's a game of opposites. High flowing air actually creates negative pressure. So that would then suck the air from the other side inwards, which would help the leeward side, which is the draggy side, uh, create a, a longer laminar flow and allow the wheel to not stall as quickly. That was the, the idea of it. Uh, but at 45 k's an hour, it didn't work past seven degrees of your angle. So it worked really well. Air was flowing faster over this side than this side. It was sucking air through from here, through here. And it was actually working and I was very excited watching the screen. This is obviously four or five months ago, whenever it was. And I was like, yes, it's working, it's working, it's working. And no, got to a certain point where the air then pushed through the wheel and then created a outflow of air on the leeward side, which created a, a, a bad stall. And then the drag just went through the roof. It's like a light switch turned off. Um, at about maybe 100 kilometers an hour or more, this could potentially work. Air does a weird thing at high speed. It's, it's a real game of opposites. You can look up um, uh, Bernoulli's principle. You can stay there, boys, and watch. You've got the twins over here. It's a Sunday. They're being very good and watching and being quiet. Thank you, boys. Um, and it's a funny effect where you think high pressure air, sorry, sorry, high speed air would create high pressure. It creates low pressure. Just do a YouTube search of a, um, uh, a, a Bernoulli's tube, it's a TiPo tube and it creates a suction out the top of it. it's a little glass tube and they shoot air through and it actually sucks up. You can see it with air or with water. Um, so that principle was the guide for this concept. Uh, and yeah, maybe at higher speed it would work. Um, people saw this and thought it was to uh, lighten the wheel. No, this wheel would be heavier if it was ever made in mass production, which it's not going to be. I can see the light shining through it here as I'm spinning it uh, because you would have to do a weave carbon layup, not a unidirectional straight carbon layup to stop a splintering effect or a shattering uh, effect through the holes. So the weave then creates uh, the, the grain of the carbon won't run in between the holes and potentially fracture, so a weave would be heavier, yada yada. But it's not, it was made for aerodynamics and in a tunnel, I didn't have to make it heavier in mass production if it was made, which it's not gonna be made, just to be clear. Uh, that would be um, what would happen in the layup schedule. But uh, yeah, so for your keen-eyed people, um, that's what it is. I'm gonna do another video um, here. You uh, may have also noticed this behind me this beautiful creature here, which is the new 85 mil tri-spoke. That's the old 74 mil tri-spoke. Very similar in design. A few improvements around here with how the hub sits. It's a new hub as well. This is a big improvement here where the valve is hidden versus the valve coming out here. Um, it's very wide. It's uh, 36 and a half to 37 mil wide around this section here. It's made for a 28 mil tire. So the 28 actually keeps a laminar flow over the edge. It has to be that wide to keep it. Whereas this one works more with a 25 mil tire. I've also got 
a TT disc here, which had a bladder failure in it. We already started cutting it here, you can see. So I'm gonna do a video cutting the uh, TT disc up. There's no hub in it, obviously. Um, we realized the pressure uh, was not hitting the right number through the molding process. Um, so we don't pass the wheel because unless you get a perfect bladder compaction, you can have problems. Um, inside this wheel is a really cool thing. There's little stringers that go through here, 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 which is the main reason I want to show you this wheel. Um, this construction is exactly the same as a lot of the other big brands construction of these type of wheels because it's the same factory, which is cool. They're awesome guys. I've been there for a fair while now. Um, this is one of the widest TT discs they've made um, at the factory. They're a bit worried about the bracing angle, but we fixed that up with this design and a few other things and this stringer design. Um, so you'll get to see that cut up soon. Uh, I'll do a video on some of the new rims you'll see here. This is a laser etching here of one of the new rims that's coming soon. Um, I'll do a burn test of my rim versus the reserve versus the scope and maybe some others as well where we just cut a slither of this. We burn it at about a thousand degrees and that melts the resin out of it. And then you can pick the layers of carbon apart and I'll show you what happens with the edge layup here versus my one, which will be another cool video. Um, this is a 3D print. Uh, it was changed from this. This was part of the design for the new tri-spoke here. You don't print the whole wheel because you want to see the profile. Have a good sticky beak at that. Look at that profile. It's a beast. This wheel has been tested by two uh, pro teams already. Grand Tour teams, like proper pro teams, not the... And it's quick. It's really quick. Uh, I'm going to be taking it to the tunnel December 11th and 12th. Got some smegma on here. I don't know what that is. The boys have been using this in Axe. Boys, come over here and come say hello. What have you been using this for? Come over, it's all right. You can come over. Come up here. Oh, here you go. Come up here. You can hold on to that. Show, show the guys what you've been doing with this. Not hitting your brother. Not hitting your brother. <laughs> do you want to show him how you do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Guys, I'm glad, this is the only way I can get these videos out, do them on a Sunday. Um, we've got too much wheel building to do. So yeah, some really cool stuff coming guys. I'm gonna try and uh, video as much as I can, but that wind tunnel test will be in sort of two to three weeks. The Nero Show boys will both be down there, Chris and Jesse. And uh, yeah, we've got some top end wheels to compare with. Cool, cheers.